Want to use less chemicals in your hot tub? Well, there are three simple ways to help you reduce dependence on chlorine or bromine. One, a hot tub mineral sanitizer. Two, an ozonator. And three, a hot tub line flush. No matter which option you choose, your hot tub won't be completely chemical free. And there are some downsides to installing a new system like an ozonator. So before you completely change your spa setup, here's everything you need to know about using less chemicals in your hot tub. Let's dive in. Real quick, before we continue, if you want more help taking care of your hot tub, be sure to grab our free hot tub cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash spa sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your hot tub clean and clear throughout the year. First, can you run a hot tub without chemicals? Unfortunately, you need some chemicals in your water. That's because a hot tub without chemicals quickly becomes a giant bathtub. Anytime people get into the water, they leave behind body oil, lotion, dirt, and even dead skin cells. And without chemicals to kill off those contaminants, your hot tub would quickly become murky, full of algae, and unhealthy to use. But even though your hot tub can't be completely chemical free, there are ways to reduce the amount of chemicals you need. Number one is use a mineral sanitizer. These sanitizers use minerals like silver and copper to kill bacteria and algae. They're easy to use and relatively affordable. And you only have to change out your mineral cartridge every few months. Hot tub mineral sanitizers come in three forms. One, filter sticks, which are inserted into your hot tub cartridge filter. Two, floating dispensers, which float around your water and release both minerals and sanitizer. And three, an inline mineral system, which needs to be pre-installed by the manufacturer. However, there are some downsides. Since copper is one of the active ingredients, mineral systems can cause surface stains or green water. Using a metal sequestrant can help prevent copper from settling on the surfaces, but it can also make your mineral sanitizer less effective. Finally, even though a mineral sanitizer will reduce your need for chlorine or bromine, you still need to keep your chlorine levels at 0.5 parts per million and your bromine levels at one part per million. And that's a lot less than normal. Number two, install an ozonator. Hot tub ozonators sanitize your water with UV light or ionized electricity. Not only do these systems destroy microorganisms, they also help clump together solids in the water, making it easier for your filter cartridge to remove them. You'll have to keep some chlorine and bromine in the water, but much less than normal. And ozone helps break apart any used up chlorine and bromine molecules that have bonded to contaminants. And that means the ozone helps your sanitizer stay active in the water. However, because ozone is also reactive, it can ruin the vinyl interior of your hot tub cover. So you'll need to add a hot tub thermal blanket to protect the inside of your cover. And they're the most expensive option and usually require professional installation. Number three, use a hot tub line flush. Contaminants like sweat, body oil, and bacteria build up over time in your hot tub lines. This creates a layer of biofilm in your pipes that's resistant to chlorine and bromine. As the water passes through the buildup in your pipes, it circulates back into your hot tub and causes cloudy water, smells, slime, and scum lines. This means you'll have to use more and more chemicals to keep your water sanitary. The only way to get rid of biofilm in your pipes is by flushing your lines with a hot tub plumbing cleaner. Once it clears everything out of your pipes, drain the dirty water, clean your hot tub surfaces, and refill it with fresh water. Be sure to flush your pipes and drain your hot tub every three to four months and be sure to clean your hot tub filters at the same time. The cleaner your pipes and filter system, the less chemicals you'll need to constantly add to your water. Finally, what about saltwater hot tubs? You won't need to buy and add chlorine or bromine to your water if you have a saltwater system. Instead, you'll add hot tub grade salt, but a saltwater hot tub is technically still a chlorine hot tub. That's because the saltwater system turns salt into chlorine or bromine, and those levels will be the same as a regular hot tub. So if you're looking for less chlorine or bromine in your water, a salt water system won't work, but it will save you from buying and adding your own chemicals. If you need more help maintaining your hot tub, grab our free hot tub cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to Swim University for more hot tub care tutorials. Thanks again and happy soaking.